we're headed out the Green Bank and we're trying to go over the, the mountain uh, into West Virginia. And it looks like they are doing some massive construction project on 33 through here. Uh, I don't know if they're expanding or adding shoulders or what, but it is uh, a huge project. They've cut down the rock here. Look at these guys working hard. Um, getting that song. Oh, that's crazy. Forever stuck in my brain. That's awesome. What's up, guys? <laughs> Dang. Look at those rocks. Dang. And then they dump them over there. They blast them, cut them, whatever, and then they dump it over there on the other side of the road. Getting to see like how this road gets made, how the sausage gets made. Stupid. <laughs> it's a good thing all this dumb graffiti will be erased from existence, only to be replaced by somebody else who thinks it's a good idea to go paint rocks. Set it to stop at the Germany Valley Overlook. It's still on 33. Green Bank. The giant dish is over that way. And the pictures I wanted to take are over that way. But we have to turn off our phones. And since my phone is my camera, and they also don't allow digital photography, so your digital camera, you can't use that past the gate either. Um, That's going to be interesting. There's one of the radio telescopes. So I don't know how I'm going to take the pictures I wanted to take. Because like everyone, we use our phones as our cameras, right? So. You see that? You read that? In 1937, a young, I don't know how to say this guy's name, Grote Reber? built this parabolic telescope next to his mother's house in Wheaton, Illinois. Oh yeah, just going out in the backyard to build a telescope. It's cool. 
I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna burn anything down. I'm just gonna build this telescope. This daggone telescope. I'm just, I'm just building this in the yard. It's cool. You know, don't worry about us, mom. Nah, we won't get hurt playing football. We're just building telescopes. Check out this classic car. What is it? MCC Checker Marathon. Kind of looks like Ron Weasley's car a bit, huh? I don't know what that is. Check that out. That's pretty hot. Look at that back seat. Look how got a little bit of leg room back there. Holy Hellman's. Good Lord, you're like, wow. All right, give her some of that glare. This vehicle primarily for on-site use, off-site use restricted. It needs a little air in the tires, I think. I should know. Pretty cool. I like it. And that one. It's the Eight Rivers Bicentennial Trout. I prefer to call it the Space Fish. Finn thinks it's a Pokemon. See, check that out. No, you can go in. Cell phones must be off. I can detect your phone on Saturn in airplane mode. No digital photography. That's intense. Film cameras. Who has a film camera anymore? Well, I do, but I have several. But, you know, who uses them? Where do you even get film developed? Look at all those deer. There's six deer right there. Holy smokies. There's the telescope right there through the trees. Here come the deer. Slow down there, Turbo. Slow down there. Hey, 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 hey. Put the brakes on there. What's up, guys? What's up, y'all? Look at those three babies. They still have their spots. to the visitor center. And it tells you all about the telescopes here. And there's a cool map. National Radio Quiet Zone. No TV stations, no radio, no cell, no nothing. And then some, can you imagine? <laughs> A good amount of these exhibits are uh, interactive. They have buttons on them. You can push them and they do stuff. Give me trying to find the hot spot. What should we do, man? The smelly universe. What to do? First, lift and sniff. Lift the lid on one of the coolers and take a whiff. 
Now lift the lid on the other cooler and take a look. Compare the odors. Uranus smells like rotten eggs. Is this a joke? Oh god, no. Oh, that's horrible. Come here, Finn! Oh, that one smells really good. Where's Emmett? Okay, this is probably showing my age, but this one smells like strawberry shortcake. The, the dolls, the toys. So then you have to look at the molecule pictures and the descriptions to decide which molecule you smell. This one, that smells like rotten eggs, is definitely hydrogen sulfide. This one, that smells like strawberry shortcake, shortcake is definitely a semen sulfide. Delphide. The hide. The seed or the hide. What in the world? So what you, what you, what you want? Why am I super hot? You should dance. Hold on, let me try this. Is it spooky, Emmett, like Haunted Mansion? What do you think, Emmett? Yeah, we can't go that way. Here we can. No. Look, there's Finn. He just went. Oh! Oh yeah, there's the observatory and there's all kinds of trails. I can't go past that gate and take photos or videos. I even have to turn off the phone, digital cameras and everything. Cannot go past that gate. So we stopped here before the gate. Take a look around. Can't really see the big 300 foot telescope from here. Just the top of it sticking over the trees there. Pretty cool place. I think it's the observation deck there. This is a habit place. There's trails and stuff you can walk around. Yeah, that's the observation deck. What a deck! So this is the GBT observation deck. I bet you'll never guess what GBT stands for. Well, that's a, a great big telescope. A GBT. I mean, duh. Pretty cool. Check that out. 485 feet tall. Taller than the Statue of Liberty. He's 8,500 tons. Oh, Faraday cage. The surface is about 2.3 acres. Two football fields wide. Or it can hold two football fields. What? I'm assuming that this photo my grandfather took is of that telescope. But he was a whole lot closer. And I assume that we can go that way, but I can't. They won't allow me to have my camera on past that gate there. So I'm assuming that this photo is of that telescope. He also took a photo of this cool informative sign, which 44 years later, I'm sure is not here anymore. I don't know how they do schooling. Look at that. There's the telescope in there. 
Look at that hey, thing. that's the same thing we saw at the place. Yeah. It's huge. So we, we had to get Harper some stamps because she's going to be at camp. But we forgot them. We left them at home. So for whatever reason, I remembered that there was a post office right close to the camp. Um, check out these stamps we got. Alex Trebek Jeopardy stamps. I mean, why not? <laughs> Isn't that awesome? It says this naturalized U.S. citizen hosted the quiz quiz show Jeopardy for 37 seasons. Who is Alex Trebek? That guy right there. Apparently this is a was a fort built here in 1774 by Virginia militia. I'm assuming where this patch of grass is. <laughs> um, they've been doing some some digging here. Um, but there's nothing really to see. So there's a barn with a cat. There's a tiny museum. Tiny, tiny museum, but it's locked. So, wow, oh, cool. There's a cemetery over there where the flag is. I'm not sure if the cemetery has anything at all to do with the uh, fort. And here's a tiny museum, but like I said, it's locked. There's some artifacts and such. That's pretty cool. Cool stickers. They will hurt there's little you. wooden, there's tiny little wooden crosses in the ground. I don't know if that has anything to do with the fort. Maybe. Hello, horses. Hello. So I found a geocache and it's pretty cool looking. Look at that house. Top of this lid of this little metal container. GPS said it was down there in the woods next to the sign, but I located it here in this tree. I just cannot get it open at all, but it's really cool looking. These great wildflowers. More stars. <clears throat> Strongholds of white-tailed deer until restocking gradually dramatically increased populations in the 70s and 80s. It hunted out all the deer from the area. Even in Virginia, all along the AT, there were no deer. And we restocked the population with deer from Missouri. That's one of the things I find so fascinating. are all vehicles that can be used on the railroad. All kinds of lumber and equipment because this was a lumber milling town. Check that thing out. Got riding it. Pretty cool too. 
This is called a speeder. stuff to haul logs with and fuel harnesses. Pictures of the railroad. Imagine this is what Stokesville kind of looked like. Stuff there. You didn't see this the last time we were here. Lunchbox. I like this hat. It says those notches were cut into the edges of it. So that you could tell how many days he worked. Country store. It's a company store. <clears throat> it's got an ice cream counter. Cool. Grafton Monster Coffee. Offman Coffee. Bad Boy Coffee. Sasquatch Coffee. Mother Jones. I love all the barrels with the candy in it. Especially made for the best quality. You have a toothbrush drill in your house. Cash register. Oh, never played that game. Chunky Monkey Business. It's a good one. One year for Halloween, I dressed up as a pack of Beeman's chewing gum. It was awesome. One of my favorite costumes ever. Is there a frog in here? I think it is. 
You know what's behind you? Do you know what's right behind you? What? Bigfoot scat. Holy goodness gracious, I have not seen Bigfoot 2 in a million years. Or that. Or, what is it? Look at that! Candy cigarettes. Holy moly. What's this? What? I don't know. Started raining while we were here. So now we're kind of waiting out the rain. And here's the old train station here. A couple of deer hanging out there in the rain. Hey y'all. Can't say. And that's going to do it for today. That was our trip out to Green Bank to drop Harper at camp and then pick her up. Um, and then, then we went to Cass Railroad, which is amazing. Especially if you, if you ever go out to Green Bank. Coming from Richmond. You just take 64 out to Stanton. Get on 250. Drive 250 out to 220. And then drive 220 out to like 84 and then yeah you can figure it out from there there's no jeep there's no cell phone signal though none at all so don't even think it once you cross this state line i don't even know if it really uh if, if that even matters there's no cell phone none at all if you have it in your gps on your cell phone or your google maps your apple maps whatever just leave it Leave it alone. Don't touch it. Don't close it. If you do, you'll you'll never get it back open. Because <laughs> that's how it is out there. There's no signal at all. Um, but that drive, 250 to 220 to 84, is just unbelievable. 220 is unbelievable anyway. But So, I, I mean, if you go out 64 west towards West Virginia pick up 220 and what is it Covington or Clifton Forge I can't remember which one and you go past uh there's that waterfall is that falling springs falls is that right I don't know anyway but and then it'll take you past the homestead and everything else do that do that one day you should do that one day just to that drive is unbelievable um just so much good scenery. Go past the homestead. Stay on 220. Drive 220 all the way to Monterey. It is a great drive. Um, 
You could stop in the Humpback Bridge while you're out there. Uh, this is the segment of the show called Virginia Travel Tips. Boom, boom. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's such a great drive. Uh, the drive out of the Green Bank is, is great too. Um, so much beautiful scenery. So much beautiful scenery. Like, it's just unbelievable. Um, yeah. And then Green Bank, you get there, there's no cell signal, nothing. So if you ever want to go s spend some quiet time <laughs> away from your cell phone, go to Green Bank. Um, Cass is fascinating, too. Cass was a, a logging boom town, much like Stokesville, which I have another video of, of when I went out to Stokesville. Um... You know, they came in, they logged everything out, and then that was it. Shut down. Um, the only difference between Stokes Hill and Cass is that Cass actually stuck around. Uh, this, the town did. The buildings are all still there for the most part. Um, and in, whereas in Stokesville, Stokesville, all the buildings are gone. Um, but yeah, I mean... Some great history there. Um, and then the thing about the deer, I don't, it's, it's hard to hear because they have these big air conditioned things in the ceiling and they're loud. Um, but yeah, I learned this listening to this uh, podcast called The Green Tunnel. We hunted out all of the white tailed deer in Virginia and in West Virginia. Um, their populations were so low that we had to import so low to nothing at all none at all um we had to import deer from missouri and all of the deer we have in virginia right now are all descendants of these missouri deer that we had to import into the state to rebuild their population did you know that i didn't but i learned it it's fascinating and it's all it's been sticking with me for like a year or two now right if you if you've ever been interested in hiking the hiking the Appalachian Trail or knowing more about its history, check out check out the, the Green Tunnel podcast. It's fascinating. Fascinating. Um, anyway, getting off track here. That was our trip. It was a lot of fun. It was, uh, it was uh, over the course of about two weeks. Um, so, uh, yeah, Harper went to a camp out at Green Bank. It was... Um, for physics and science and everything. And she loved it. Absolutely loved it. It was amazing. Uh, she learned so much about how we use radio telescopes to look at stuff in space. And um, absolutely fascinating. So uh, she even had to write an essay this week in school. And what did she choose to write about? Pin camp. She says it changed her life. Changed her life. Perfect, right? Um, anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that other stuff. I'll see you on the next one. See ya!